Mary, wait, please, Mary. I'm sorry, Mary. Mary, is that you, dear? Yes, Mother. Did you have a nice time, dear? Very nice, thanks. Well, you don't look much like a girl who's been out having a wonderful evening. Oh, Mom. No, here. Well, what's the matter, dear? Do you remember when you told me that I might... I might have such strong feelings about a boy that it might be hard for me to decide what's right to do? Yes, I remember. Why? Well, it was something like that tonight with Jeff. You know, I like him an awful lot, and we... we have such fun at dances. But tonight, the, the feeling between us kept getting stronger and stronger. On our way home, we stopped and parked. And then things seemed to happen. Do we, Neely? It was so close. Suddenly I realized what we were about to do. I asked Jeff to take me home. I guess he felt ashamed too. He said he was sorry that it was his fault. Do you think it was his fault? Oh, Mother, I don't know what to think. I'm so mixed up. I don't know whether I even want to go out with Jeff again. You know, dear? I was young once, too. Perhaps I can understand something of what you feel. First, well, it all seems quite a lark. You like someone, he likes you. Everything is fun and affection. Then, all at once, you can find yourself in a situation where your physical urges fight against your reason. Then those fine thoughts of love and affection can suddenly get twisted. Mother, is it wrong to feel warm and affectionate when you... when you're with a boy you really like? No, dear, it is not wrong. Because this feeling can grow into a... into a love that will last. It's the way happy marriages are built. But, Mary, if, if these strong feelings lead you into behaving unwisely, well, the outcome can be guilt and frustration. And these are the things that can spoil the chance of your finding the very love that you're looking for. Then, Mother, how do you... Come here, dear. In the height of emotion, it's not always easy to stop and think things through. But if you'll... If you'll just slow down the rush and pressure of your feelings a little, then judgment has a better chance to take hold and guide you away from wrong behavior. When you can rely on judgment rather than emotion to rule your behavior, as you did tonight, then you'll really be grown up. Oh, I can help by talking things over with you and giving suggestions, but you'll have to work out your own best way to make emotions work for you and not against you.
Hi. Hi. I'd just like to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened last Saturday. It, it wasn't because, because I think of you as that kind of girl or anything like that. It, it, it's just that, oh, I don't know. You're so terrific and we'd been together all evening and I just don't know what happened to me. It was just as much my fault as it was yours. I shouldn't have stayed out so late anyway. You're, you're the nicest girl I've ever met, and... Oh, we have so much fun together that... I'd sure hate to ruin everything. So would I. Okay now, is everything just about finished? The last spectacular issue of this year's signpost has to be ready for the lucky students of Central High the day after tomorrow. Mary, how's that literary page shaping up? It's not very spectacular. One story and one poem and that's all. Stu? Just the pictures. Yeah, we need more pictures, don't we? The drawings would be cheaper. You know, if Eileen were still here, we'd be set. Oh, she could whip up some great little cartoons in no time. Poor Eileen. She's probably so busy looking after the baby, she's forgotten she could ever draw. What, have they had the baby already? Sure, five months after the wedding. How's that for a shotgun affair, eh? Stu, don't be so crude. I feel kind of sorry for Fred. He always wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah. Now I guess he's got to keep any job just so he can look after Eileen and the baby. Eileen was a real good friend of mine. Was I surprised when she left school? Gee. And then when she got married. Imagine marrying someone who has to marry you. Well, this isn't solving our picture problem. Hey, Terry, I got it. Eileen had a whole bunch of cartoons we didn't use last year. I bet we could use some of those. Why didn't you think of that? Just stupid, I guess. <laughs> okay, everybody, same time tomorrow afternoon. Gotta rush through the pool reading and then we're finished. Yeah, until the party. It's well that's going to choose your house, Terry. Well, let's get the paper up before we start oh, thinking about okay. the party. We'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, take it easy. Bye. Still, I'll see you later, huh? Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Mary? How would you like to go to the party with me Friday night? Okay, Jeff. Maybe we could double date with Marge and Stu. They'd probably like a ride over. Yeah, sure. Come on, I'll walk you home. Jeff, isn't that Eileen? Yeah, sure is. Baby and all. Gee, I haven't seen her since she left school. That looks like Mary and Jeff. I wonder if they'll say hello to me. Maybe they'll cross the street so they won't have to. Mary, how are you? Nice Hi. to see you again. Oh, look at her. Eileen, she's sweet. <laughs> Blonde like you, huh? Yeah. What's your name? Susan Elizabeth. Oh, that's a Please. darling name. <laughs> Susie. Is she a lot of trouble, Eileen? Well, it's tiring, but it's not too bad when Fred gives me a hand. Of course, he's not used to babies, but he's a real whiz at changing diapers. <laughs> you should see him. <laughs> of course, he just adores Susie. He'd do anything for her. When she goes off, he wants to give her everything. Buy her nice clothes and send her to college. Say, uh, how's Fred getting along anyway? I hear he's got a job at the steel mill. Oh, Fred's doing just fine. Of course, it's not the kind of job he planned on, but still, he enjoys it. He really looks forward to going to work every morning. He says it's a lot better than school, and he's making a lot of money. It's nice he's doing so well. Why don't we ever see you anymore? Oh, well, we don't seem to get out much. 
Of course, having an apartment of your own keeps you kind of busy. Besides, we both enjoy spending a quiet evening together at home. Well, it sounds like things are working out okay for you and Fred, eh? Oh, yes, we're getting along just fine. Only sometimes I wish we had had more time to work things out. The kids up at the signpost office were asking about you today. They all wish you were there this year to do the artwork. There's nobody there that can do it as well. Oh. I sure miss the gang and all the fun we used to have in school. The last issue's coming out in a couple of days. We're having a big wind-up party at Terry's place on Friday. Well, I, uh, I think we'd better be going now, Mary. Well, nice to see you again, Eileen. Say hello to Fred Pong, will you, please? Sure. It was nice seeing you again, Eileen. Bye. Bye. Sure Goodbye, nice now. seeing you. Now, the gang's having a party. They'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> Yes. Isn't it a wonderful night? Yeah, you're, you're pretty wonderful too, Mary. You know, we, we've been going for quite a while now, haven't we? Uh -huh. Yeah. You're the, you're the nicest girl I've ever met, Mary. Mary, I, uh... Mary, would, would you wear my school ring? Yes, Jeff. Come on, let's go back and dance. Thanks a lot. Hey, Mary. Good night, Mary. Good night, Helen. Hey, Marge, too, huh? Good night, Mary. Good night, Helen. Bye. Good night, Bye. Hey, hey, Stu, I hate to break things up, but uh, we're at Marge's house. Oh. You're here already? Well, um... Why don't we go to the point and park a while, eh? No, I... 
I, th I think this is the end of the line, Stu. Well, what's the matter? Uh, half the kids will be up there. No, no, c come on, Stu. Boy, did you turn out to be a pill. Well, what's the matter? Well, can't you go along with everyone else? Uh, don't you and Mary uh, like each other anymore or something? Clear out, Stu, huh? Come on, Marge. Late, Jeff. Thanks for the ride. And don't wait for me. Yes, I must be pretty popular with them. Lights are on. I guess Mom and Dad are still up. How would you like to come in and have a sandwich? They'd be glad to see you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good. Mom and Dad went out with the Wilsons. They won't be back until about two. Well, what would you like on your sandwich? Oh, I don't mind. Anything would be fine. How about you? Oh, I don't care. You say. Well, what you got? I've got ham, tomato. Cucumber? Yeah. And bacon? Yeah. And peanut butter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've got a whole restaurant. Thank you. 